Hey, I just wanted to cover a, a quick change here. Um, got some feedback on the project, and I was actually able to duplicate a gripe that some people had on the source code. And what the problem was, was with the SQL 2012 local DB provider. So what I've done is, if you look at the entity framework, and you go look at its uh, database folder, it's still the same status report MDF, but if we look at the app.config now, we can see that the uh, uh, data source is now SQL Express, full-blown SQL Express. You'll just need to go into the connection strings in each one of these app.configs and replace them with the name of your SQL Express server. And you'll need to attach a file as a database on your SQL Express server. Now, if you haven't done that before, then I'm going to show you right quick how to do that. Uh, and make sure we add a status report user and a password one. So obviously the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need the SQL Management Studio uh, 2012, which you can get from Microsoft. Just Google it, install it, and then make sure, make sure that you run it as an administrator. That means right-click in the shortcut and then run as administrator. Otherwise this won't work. So we're going to right click, we're going to run it as administrator. And I'll drag it here on the recording window as soon as it comes up. And you can log in as your local SA or administrator, whatever your login is. And we see here our SQL Express server. And if we look under databases, we'll see I already have it under here, but all you would do is you would right click and you go to attach and you would navigate to, as it blows up huge, you would navigate to the enterprise or enterprise entity framework folder under the downloaded source code you got, the DB folder. You double click status report. If you get an access denied error, it means you are not running SQL Management Studio as an administrator and you need to run it as an administrator. So you double click this and you hit OK. I'm going to hit cancel because I've already done it. It'll attach. You might get this huge long file name out here and you just right click and go to rename and you would rename it just like it says here status report. And then you would go here and you'd need to go down to security and you're going to go to users and you're going to see there's a status report user this is a problem with SQL Server a lot of people run into uh, you're going to right click that user and delete it and the reason you're going to do that is because your SQL Server and this SQL Server user they're different so just delete the user off the account and then go to your server level go to its security go to its logons right click go to new login create the status report user capital S capital R capital U SQL server authentication password one dollar sign capital P password one dollar sign capital P uncheck these go to user mapping click on status report click on database owner hit OK I'm gonna hit cancel because I've already done it and you're good to go and then you'll just put whatever the name of your SQL Express server is here in your app.config in the connection string if you've never done this before and you have questions beyond this but you're gonna put your server name here the name of your database here if you didn't name it status report the user ID status report user if you did it just like I said there won't be an issue and the password now you're gonna need to update this if your default name isn't dot whack SQL Express which the default installation is but if you've got a named instance or you did something fancy on SQL Express install uh, you're gonna have to change it in all of these configs in the test the test BLL and the Windows Forms app.config. Everywhere it says connection string.
So what I do is I just update it here and you're good to go. Now I back doorway to do that and to get, make sure you got the right connection string is you can come up here and once you set it up on SQL Express you can go to your model and you can right click and you can go to update model from database and you can go new connection and then connect to your SQL Express and see I have it here my SQL Express but I'm going to cancel and you can test the connection that way but if you can debug and start without debugging and connect to your SQL Express database you're good to go I apologize for having to do it this way but there were so many people that were having trouble with the local DB provider uh, not giving them access when they ran the demo code it's just easier and, and most everyone has attached an SQL Express database to a, a server at some time and had to delete that user and re-add it with the password uh, and I showed you how to do it right here so it shouldn't be a big deal if you have any questions or, or you have any problems with it do give me a give me a message uh, we if we have to do a screen share if I have to give you a hand or something I'm happy to do it uh, I may do a, a video just on downloading the code I did one in the beginning of the series uh, but I overestimated the usefulness of the local DB provider it's uh, it's just okay SQL Express I still like better um, you just gotta make sure that your instance name and username password and catalog name and that connection string is right and everything else will take care of itself but you just gotta make sure you update your app.config and your uh, entity framework your .ef your uh, .test both test projects and the .windows forms project wf so that covers it I'm gonna go ahead and run into this video up real quick and get it up on uh, YouTube uh, I've had a five or six people ping me today uh, asking me questions about this so hopefully this helps you out and uh, if you have any further questions uh, drop me a line thanks a lot and have a good evening